China issues new demands for resupply at Ayungin after Philippines continued antagonization of them, in just another piece of news that the Philippines' mainstream media or MSM seems to have put a news blackout on, China through their foreign ministry spokesperson Mao Ning has issued what seems to be new demands recently for the Philippines' resupply of its troops at the BRP Sierra Mada in Ayungin Shoal. The Philippine MSM is ignoring this because they want to keep that script or narrative. Going that China is the aggressor in the South China Sea or SCS, and wanted to try to show that China just wants to stop the Philippines for no reason at all. Here are China's new demands at our young in Shoal. That the Philippines immediately tow away the BRP Sierra Mada from our young in Shoal, advance notification and on-site verification of all supply trips should be made before they are allowed to proceed, China said they will not accept the trips anymore and block them if these are not done. If China does proceed to do this on the next resupply missions at Ayungin, then this could trigger a more serious confrontation between the Philippines and China there. Here are the exact wordings of China's new demands. First, by keeping its warship grounded at Renari Jiao for decades running, the Philippines has been violating China's sovereignty and the Declaration on the Conduct of Parties in the South China Sea, DOC especially Article 5, which says refraining from action of inhabiting on the presently uninhabited islands and reefs. We demand that the Philippines tow away the warship as soon as possible and restore Renari Jiao's state of hosting zero personnel and facilities. Second, before the warship is towed away, if the Philippines needs to send living necessities, out of humanitarianism, China is willing to allow it if the Philippines informs China in advance and after on-site verification is conducted. China will monitor the whole process. Third, if the Philippines sends large amount of construction materials to the warship and attempts to build fixed facilities and permanent outpost, China will not accept it and will resolutely stop it in accordance with law and regulations to uphold China's sovereignty and the sanctity of the DOC.